So my, my frame is all done. Uh, getting ready to go out to powder coat. Rob said probably going to powder coat this week. So we have the main frame. This is the front uh, stiffened area. That'll be the front cargo area. That's not really a baggage area. In the other airplanes, it was a baggage cargo area where you could put some stuff. There's not a lot of space there. So a few things might go there, uh, but not a lot of stuff. And then here is where the electronics will go behind this panel here. I've just kind of mocked this up to double check on uh, some distance. One of the things I've asked them to do that they did is they built the frame was this bar right there that goes across the back that the blue tape is on is supposed to be higher. So up there in the top corner there where that piece of wire is, that's where the bar is supposed to go across. Normally it goes from there to over there where the other wire is. They've made an adapter so that it drops it down so I can lower that bar, which allows me to put the instruments in that I want to with Dynon, which will show up here in the front. So. This area right here, um, sometimes they put access panels in here to allow access into the electronics. I don't think I'm going to need to because of the size of the screens. If I pull them out, one or both of them, I'll have full access to the back. But this is what the what it'll look like. I've taken some pictures out in a, a couple of the airplanes at the hangar just to kind of see how this sits uh, visible-wise with the reclined seat and the positioning. Um, I may lift my hood a little bit depending on how the hood fits um, over the instrument panel just so it's a little bit higher so I have very better visibility of everything. I can show a couple pictures of what those looked like for comparison. But that's what I'll be looking at uh, for my instruments and I think it sits really well. That bar will be now down far enough below the instruments to allow those Dynon screens to fit in there nice and easy. So. Um, you can see that black mark is the mark where the bottom of the bar now sits. I had estimated the blue mark, which is where it, the minimum of where it needed to be to put the Dynon 10-inch screens in there. But I think that's going to fit perfectly. I'm actually really excited about how that is going to work. I may even find myself crawling inside here and sitting on the, uh, the rack just to see what it feels like to be in my plane. So... Serial number is on the back of the, uh, the pilot seat there. We have the back of the, this area here is the back of the passenger seat. This rail that goes up and around is the uh, bottom hoop for the canopy. This silver aluminum one right here is the canopy bottom rails. That's what mounts to the uh, canopy, the plastic, or the uh, Lexan for the, the canopy, and then the tall piece right here, you can see my serial number 235, and over there it says Merrill. Pretty excited about the uh, fact that my uh, fuselage is done, so that's the uh, tail section right there. So we have the fuselage, the empennage, and uh, that'll be out for powder coat, and that's some huge progress so so yeah I couldn't resist climbing in and uh, just having a seat I may even make some airplane noises as the time goes but it's kind of an exciting time so just to have a quick seat where the uh, my seat will be um, we can see the frame this is where the crank for the canopy goes uh, it goes through the skin to the outside so you have a push button there to actuate the mechanism. This will be my instrument panel and that will be where the throttle quadrant mounts uh, to control the throttle and then the rest of this will all be skinned and everything will be here so I'm um, pretty excited to see the progress and uh, working on mounting the tail section to the fuselage. So these pins will fit inside the rear tail section to make sure everything's lined up. 
we are going to clean up and ream out the holes on all four of those sections. The end of these square tubes where that pen goes inside. And get those cleaned up so the pens will slide right in there so we can get that all bolted together. So that's what we're working on right now is attaching the tail section. So this whole bolt will not fit through those holes. Go from the back side there. So we use this ream, reamer tool. And that just removes the powder coating enough to allow those bolts to fit exactly like they're supposed to. So the battery box attachment points we think have to be reamed out as well, so we'll ream those out and we'll start putting it together. All right, so we've got everything reamed out and we're ready to uh, bring the back tail section up and mount it to the front part of the fuselage. battery box
Anyways, uh, frame is done. Please like, subscribe, and uh, share this with your friends. Hit the notification bell so you can get new content. I'll continue to post videos of the build.